So I paid up a truck last night, $525. Here's the title. It is a 1995 Z71 Silverado, 1500. The only catch, it's kind of a big deal. The engine is in the bed. Chud 327, and this kicks off Project 4x4. I've been needing a truck for a while, especially a 4x4 truck. Living here on the farm, starting to pull the uh, trailer around with the mud mowers when we get the next pontoon boat going. Anyway, Z71, this one was $522. And then this two wheel drive, it was $550. This one, good body, good everything but engine. This one, only thing good on is the engine. So I'm gonna pull the engine out of here, drop it in that one. And then we might part this one out. There are some parts that can go from this one to that one. Uh, front bumper, mirrors, other stuff I can't think about. And then I'm thinking about maybe cutting this one up and making a truck bed trailer to pull behind blue. It's got a pretty decent bed on it. If you're thinking fix this one up, it's going to need a lot of work. I'm not fixing this one up. And if we go look at the other side, you're thinking, how'd you get it so cheap? T-bone. So he said about 5,000 miles on the engine. If that's true, Old Blue should be golden with this engine. We are trying lawnmower battery, some vice grips. We'll see what happens. Cold start, if it starts. When he first started up yesterday, there was no smoke that came out of the uh, exhaust pipe. I took the cap off the valve cover, there's no blow by. I guess I'll try to start it up in gear. So I've got the truck pulled up into the garage. I think the first step, I'm gonna crawl under there. There's lots of room. I'm gonna get the drive shaft out, try to pull the transmission. I'll take the exhaust off to get the transmission out and then run it and see if I hear that noise. I'm pretty sure it's in the transmission. But these big 35s give it a lot of room to crawl under. Four bolts later and the drive shaft is out. Six nuts later and the exhaust is off. Let's see what it sounds like with open exhaust. Right here on the ground we've got the transmission clutch pressure plate, clutch disc. Looks like it was fairly new. If we go on the inside, there's the shifter, there's the shifter hole. You can see the flywheel. It's now time to fire it up and see if we hear that knocking sound. I've got the exhaust partially on. It's a little loud, it leaks. Let's see what he says. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Trying to investigate where that sound was coming from. Looks like maybe the wrong disc was in. You can see the rivets were chewing into the flywheel. That would definitely make the sound. I'm going to go ahead and pull this engine and stick it in blue. Truck update. The engine is loose. I've got the chain hooked to it. 
I'm lifting it out. I don't want to bore you with all the details. Maybe I'll give you more details as it's going in the other truck. And I was thinking maybe you get underneath and watch from below, make sure everything's going smooth. The engine is out, the truck is out. I gotta bring the blue one in. I'll probably let it lower the engine down a little bit first, maybe clean it up a little bit, although it is pretty clean already. Now I have blue in the backyard. I'm thinking maybe wash the engine compartment before putting the engine in. It looks pretty cruddy. So what got accomplished yesterday, the engine got pulled out of the green truck. Before I can put it in, I've got to get the flex plate bolted on. I've got to go to the store and buy some Loctite. The flex plate is right over here. I got it cleaned up, got it ready to go on. I'm going to go test this thermostat, make sure it works before I put it back in. Get that installed right up here. As far as oil filters go, this has a regular oil filter. I want to keep that. I'm going to buy one probably that's shorter. Just keep what we got here. The Z71s, I got it cleaned up. I was thinking I would use it, but this is a, what, 25-year-old truck? Looks like a lot of potential to leak to me here or anywhere in this system. These lines could blow out. So I'm going to delete all of this and just get a shorter oil filter. And those lines go up to the radiator. I got the radiator clean last night. Here's the radiator. The oil cooler goes to here to here. I don't know if any sand, any, I don't know what's in there, so I'm not using that. Uh, the transmission lines, they go to this side. I'm going to have to risk it on those. Got to have it. And there's the engine that got the sand in it. I can see that being sold on Craigslist. Rebuildable core. So right here beside the pancakes, I'm boiling up some thermostat soup. When you boil it, you can see that little uh, piece that sticks out. That means it's open. You can see through there, it's open. If that don't open, your truck's going to run hot. As it cools, that'll close right back down. And if you want your truck to run a little bit hotter, you can sprinkle a little bit of taco seasoning. That'll make it run hotter. I'll put on this white plate, maybe you can see it close as it cools off. You should time lapse it. I'm going to time lapse it for you. And that took about a minute. Just came back from the store. I got some gasket makers, some thread locker. I got an oil change. I got some power steering fluid, some coolant, some transmission fluid, and an air filter. Up next, we're going to put in the thermostat. And I got to get the uh, flex plate bolted on. The gasket maker is on. Thermostat is in. and the housing is on. Now for the flex plate, there's a peg. You line the peg and then slide it on. And then put the bolts in and they are 60 to 65 pounds of torque. I'm gonna do 65 because more is better. And some uh, thread locker. So I got a jack stand in the front, a 2 before in the back, a jack stand here, and a safety strap holding it so it don't fall on me. And we're going to do a quick oil change before we stick it in the truck, get that shorter oil filter on. And I've already got this drain plug loose, just didn't think you wanted to miss it. Yes, it was time.
It's also a good idea to put oil in your new oil filter before you ever put it on the engine. And since this one goes on straight up and down, you can fill it all the way to the top. Better shot of the differences in filter heights, tall versus short. Now I think this thing's supposed to hold about five quarts. That's what's in this jug. But with that small filter, it might be like four and three quarter quarts. Here on the Z71 Puzzle, I got two starters to pick from. This is off the two-wheel drive. This is off the uh, four-wheel drive. I'm gonna go with this one. I can't find the bolts. These are bolts from the air conditioning compressor. But they are the right length, so I'm going with those. I gotta get the starter on. And the motor mounts are different. Let me show you the motor mounts. This is what's on the two-wheel drive engine, just regular plain motor mounts. Now if we go over to the engine that came out of the four-wheel drive. This one has a bracket that goes down to the stall converter dust cover, which by the way is made out of metal. I guess that's a little extra support, a little truss from here to there. A lot of extra bracing on the Z71 package. The Z71 package. And then here under the hood, it's a lot cleaner than it was. I gotta move that spider web of wires up so the engine can go in and mate with the transmission. Speaking of the transmission, the transmission line comes up to an auxiliary cooler in front of the air conditioning evaporator, and there's also a cooler inside the radiator. Double cooler on the transmission. Here's that heavy duty metal stall converter cover before it gets cleaned up. And those bracket motor mounts, brackets and motor mounts and bolts. Now before we bolt the starter on, let's give it a starter test. Works for me. So I've started putting the starter on. This is probably the last thing I do today. Maybe tomorrow we can get it set in place. I got one more bolt to do there, but if you pan over, you can see the new motor mounts are in place. And that's where that bracket goes to, down to the dust cover. Okay, the motor's here. It's propped up. It's on the engine stand. I think tomorrow it's ready to just lift up and drop in. At least that's the plan. Until I think of something else that needs to be done first. But for now, good night. It is the next day, install day. It's time to stop stalling and start installing. And I've got the octopus of wires tied up out of the way. Now the good news is this truck's got a three inch body lift, so that gives me three more inches to get the bell housing bolts in to get all these sensors hooked back up. It's gonna be fun. So I've moved up to the top side of the engine. Uh, up first, I, I just cleaned out the uh, terminals inside of this cap. I'm gonna put the distributor cap back on. What I find neat about this, I'm used to doing the S10 pickups, putting the V8s and the S10s, and there's a lot less room in an S10 engine compartment. This one, when I put the engine in, the exhaust manifolds are still on, all the accessories are still on, the fan's even still on. I did take the starter off while I was putting the engine in, but there is a lot of room. I'm loving this build. So once we get this cap back on, put all the plug wires back on, I'm going to start figuring out where all these plugs go. That's the next step. Then we can start putting on the TBI, start putting on the uh, radiator hose, put the radiator in, hook up the power steering pump, get the belt back on, get the uh, air, condition, air, air conditioning compressor back on, then put the belt back on. It's coming right along. The distributor's all buttoned up. It's now time to put on the throttle body. It goes on just like that. I now have about 90% of the wiring figured out what goes where. I've got the air condition compressor on. I got the uh, air cleaner housing cleaned up. The fan belt is on. Maybe tomorrow the radiator, the radiator hoses, the transmission lines, the battery cables. I gotta get the starter on and hooked up. We're getting close. 
So last night the uh, thunderstorm was threatening, went in the house and it went right away, but I didn't come back out this morning. I think we've got everything ready to give it a shot. I got a lot of tools sitting there in front of the fan, that's a good idea. This will be a first try. That was something. Got a little puddle of gas. There's a gas line I forgot to tighten. That's why she shut off. That one right there. There are two. I got so excited about getting the other one started and tightened. I forgot about the second one. Both gas lines are now tight. On my to-do list, air cleaner and check fluid levels. Let's go see if it'll start again. They missed the number on this airfield about one. Should have been a 327. Oh well. That goes in there. And I got that pretty lid put on it. I didn't paint it, it came that way. And now with the air filter on, I think I'll back it up a little bit, if it'll back up, and we'll put the hood on. So as I get this off the tire. Backing up. Horn check. Blinkers. We got a brake light, a battery light, an airbag light, a service engine zoom light. All in all, looks pretty good. Turn the stereo on. I have to give you an update on what to do with this engine. Probably going to sell it. It's a rebuildable core. I get this bed cleaned out. That's next on the list. I now have the bed all cleaned out and I've got a collection of tools that I picked up. I got this saw, a screwdriver, three wrenches, and a Batman double bladed knife. Wow. I got a jack. I got a, uh, let's see, a lawnmower battery and two car batteries. The one that's in this now and the dead one. And I'll be selling those for uh, recycle. Oh, and I did check the four wheel drive does work in it. That'll be in the next video. Let's do a next video update. And for a little rundown on this project, I picked up this truck last Friday night. Today is Friday, so it's been exactly one week. Let's see, I picked it up Friday, I washed it Saturday. Sunday, I bought the green truck. Uh, Monday, I pulled the engine out of the green truck. Tuesday was spent getting ready to drop the engine in. And then Wednesday, Thursday, I got it in and got it almost fired up. And then this morning, I fired it up. And a little teaser for next video, part two. I want to hit that mud hole. And I guess I better start looking for a tailgate.